Ladies and gentlemen, boom! Fantasy Draft Fresh. I'm going to slump. I'm angry. This Brett, right here, I'm, I'm sick of losing Fantasy Drafts. I went on a tear at one point. I won like four of these in a row. I've lost six of them in a row. I've done a lot of theme drafts. I just want to draft this team exactly how I want it and I want to win. That's, that's all I'm going to say. I'm looking you guys in the eyes as I say this. I want to win. This is the season. You guys already know. These Fantasy Drafts, um, we've started to only do 11 weeks in the regular season. Also, I have a light goal. Okay. Light goal. This is my light goal. I actually don't have a light goal, but this is my, I'm going to try something. I am not going to tell you to like the video. I'm not going to tell you to like the video, but if you like the content and you appreciate the 20 hours that goes into the videos, you can show me by hitting the like button. And then I don't have to, I won't ask because I know you already hit the like button, Timmy. And if I say your name, John, Rick, kill like button. I have a comment question of the day. Okay, you are put in a situation. Now, you are essentially, you can uproot your entire life. You can be born, but you have to be born in America. Okay, you have to be born in the United States, but you can change your entire family and be born in a different state. You're not moving there now, but you could have been born in any part of America. What is the best part of America? And where would you guys have picked? Also, where are you from now? I am curious because me and, and honestly, give me suggestions. I've considered, me and my wife have considered at some point living in the winters in Canada. Sorry, I'm talking, I'm the Saints, by the way, in this league. We've considered living in the winters in Canada for a while now. Um, but I don't really know where to go. I know there's some places in Florida that are really nice. Give me a sales pitch for why I should move to your state or why I shouldn't. We've considered Phoenix. Palm Springs, um, some different like places kind of in Florida around a lot of golf courses. I don't know. I've always thought in the winters it would be so nice to get away a little bit. So comment down below. I'm not American, so it would take a lot of work obviously to make that happen. But for those of you who ask that question a lot, who knows? I could see myself living there. Give me a sales pitch of why I should choose your state. Bub Bam, look on the screen, guys. Fantasy Draft, I'm winning this thing. I don't care. Sign the check. Money in the bag. I need this. I don't want to lose. Let's draft a great team. Let me get back to my drafting roots. Something that I know I'm really good at where I, I, I know I can draft a good team. <sighs> Cross your fingers to the number one pick. Let's go. Pick. 25. Okay. Uh, <sighs> Not so good. Okay. We are round one pick. Also another comment. because this, this is a fun video game that I always do, but people cheat. Who do you guys think I will get at 25? They changed the faces, by the way. 25, you're looking at a potential Jamar Chase, um, Jalen Waddle, or we could stack defense. You're looking at potentially a Micah Parsons. I've seen Micah there before. Max Crosby, I've seen there before. Lots of different people could potentially be there at 25. Um, it's an interesting spot to pick, um, but it's actually a good spot to pick in a lot of ways. So I'll see you guys as we get to like pick 19, and we'll talk through... Um, who we're gonna select at pick twenty five? Okay, I, I gotta, I gotta talk about this glitch because it's actually kind of funny. This is so they changed the faces. <laughs> they got the Lamar's mixed up, so that is the Lamar Jackson, but it's not the Lamar Jackson. It's the other Lamar Jackson, who I think used to play on the Jets. So the face, they got the faces mixed up. I don't know how they did it, but it's messed up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, pick nineteen. This is where we actually get to start talking. Um, Strategy. Quarterbacks that are there. Um, are any of these rookies here? Hmm. I don't think I go QB here. Um, I've always wanted AJ Brown. I've I've said that multiple times on the channel that AJ Brown is like my type of player. Paging agent Jameson, Jalen Waddle is like there is value here. Like a lot of value. At receiver, I would say more so. There's a lot of corners, but like there is some legitimate number ones um, in DK and Jalen Waddle. I lean towards DK. DK is my favorite player in the world. I put him on the outside. I moss people. I laugh the entire time. It's funny to me. Jalen Waddle is fast, but I could probably create a disgusting receiver core with those two. What about who? Donald. See, Donald doesn't. I've had Donald lots. He doesn't intrigue me quite as much. One of them could get taken there. Bro, I don't know how you don't go DK Metcalf. 95 speed, 6 foot 3. 95 jumping to me. 
I hardly ever take receivers in the first round, but I think this is a, I think this is a slide for him. I, I honestly think he should have been gone. Gladly, with a smile on my face. Big D K Metcalf, bro. You guys, and this is my favorite player. I love DK. Um, the way I play, he's actually six four. The game hasn't messed up. He's actually six foot four. But the way I play, this is my receiver. Like he is pretty much just like everything you want in a receiver and then more. The guy is an absolute menace. He looks good in a Saints uniform. I would say that's a that's a W pick. 24 years old, um, 85 slot ability. He's going to catch the ball. He's going to do a lot of great things. DK is our quarterback. Now, we pick again at pick eight. And I got to look through a few different things. Justin Fields being there is always interesting. He is like the typical Brett Bear brand of quarterback. Um, but sadly, I just don't see it there. I think, honestly, I could probably stack my receivers. Oh, shoot. I was hoping that uh, one of those guys would fall. Me Cole is still there. I wouldn't go Me Cole in that spot. I would definitely consider a Kyle Pitts um, or a Mark Andrews. Kyle Pitts is 91 speed, 93 acceleration in the second round. If I'm talking like, okay, Brett wants to actually win and not get beat for a season, that is probably the player that I take. And then I know my quarterback doesn't matter that much. And I can go defense for my next three picks. That's the way I kind of look at this situation. As far as like elite pass rushers, you have Bosa. Donald still being there is wild. Same with Burns. But there's enough value picks there that I feel like I can go back to all those spots. Um, receivers, I don't really need like a... Some guys need a 97 speed receiver. To me, I don't. I think I'd be happier with a Kyle Pitts. Um, he's an 86. Oh, I'm up. 91 speed, 93 excel. Kyle Pitts with DK Metcalf is kind of gross. He gives me all the routes that I need. Um, and more. I don't oh, He is a, I think he's a good value pick there. I really do. If I'm talking, I want to win. Like, Kittle's a stud too. I just know there won't be a tight end next pick. Pitts is cra seems crazy there. What DBs are kicking around? I've had all those guys recently. I think if I'm talking, I want to win. I'm going to go Pitts. And then potentially, uh, I'll gladly take Kyle Pitts. In this game, there is not many like duos you can create quite like Kyle Pitts and DK Metcalf. I could play an offense where I have him on post every single time. It just opens up the offense so incredibly much we went double offense on this first round which is interesting that's not always what i do um but we got two absolute studs kyle pitts um and dk metcalf with our first two picks this is a big tough team um that you are not going to want to see like i said he gets mid and elite he gets he gets grandfathered in red zone threat and then soon at 85 overall possession, which is only three overalls away, which will not take long because uh, you get more. He'll get that ability. So to me, short in, red zone threat. I love throwing to my tight ends. Kyle Pitts, Beast, got him back in this uniform. If you guys don't remember, he was in this uniform before. And then DK Metcalf is just another one deep. I, I also, both of them have grandfathered in red zone threat. I could go short in and red zone on both of them if I don't really care about routes. And just moss people um, until the sun don't shine. Maybe I'll make this just like I, I I'm gonna throw the ball up type season. I if if Mike Williams is there with my next pick, don't be shocked. I'll see you guys around three pick twenty five. Okay, ladies out. We're about six picks away here. Um, few like different kind of potential things that I'm considering. So the number one person like he's very similar to Malik. Um, but like, oh, did he just get taken? Bruh, I think I think he just got taken. Part of me has always wanted, and I, if he's, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm doing it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him a picture too of this. Mike Williams is a 10 out of 10 cool guy, and probably my favorite player in the league. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draft him. One second. Easiest selection ever. 
Mike Williams. Um, but I've always wanted to draft him. I've always wanted to create like a all awesome team. Like, and I don't know. Maybe this is stupid. Maybe you guys will enjoy watching this. But like, you guys know I love to go up and get it. Like, nine, Mike Williams is just the go. I I love watching him play. He is my salary. If you guys watched me in the, um, I was the first person to play Madden this year against Clef the God. And I threw to Mike Williams every single time. I have not got him in a fantasy draft yet. There was other people probably available, but I don't care. I got short hair. Um, I wanted Mike Williams. I got two guys who can go up. Now, if the Gilly Lock is here, and I said that too soon, um, I think I've missed the boat on... Ooh. Bro, 88 speed for that dude? Oh, that's mean. That's mean. Quez is still there? Bro, I won't get stopped. Nobody's taking receivers right now, which is super weird. Like if I if I take Quez, I won't I won't get stopped. DJ Turner 95 speed, Dante Jackson, Justin Simmons, Jordan Poyer's still there. Ooh, I feel as though I got to go defense. Obviously, I need to go defense, but a big part of me has no interest in going defense. QB I can get later. I want to take one of these rookies. I feel like one of these rookies would be a lot of fun. Um, but, like, honestly, value-wise, Mecole, if Mecole's here at my pick, I'm taking Mecole Hardman, and I'll draft defense for the rest of the draft, and I'll laugh my way to trying to – I'll laugh as people try and stop me with that offense. Mike Williams, Kyle Pitts, I will have created the single greatest offense of all time and done it with a smile on my face while laughing. Um – Dang, these guys are pretty picked over. Okay, let's see. Dude, B. Cole's still there. I'm sorry. I, I'm i lame. Call this the all-offense draft if you want. Call it whatever you want. Bang! There's so many speed receivers in this uh, draft that includes... That, like, B. Cole just fell to me. He is exactly... So, like, if you're going to run an offense where you're going to just moss people, you need a B. Cole Hardman. I have never in my life drafted like I just drafted. This is this is a first. But when when you look at this, okay, DK, Pitts, Williams, and Mecole, you probably couldn't create a better offense. Like, I have speed, size, 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 and speed. Like, we are big, tough. I already know exactly what position I'm going to play all these guys in. Mecole play, like, kind of on the outside with that 97 speed. So now that we've got that figured out, our next however many five to six picks, one of them will be a quarterback. And I'm, I think there's depth at quarterback. I will just stack the defense as good as I possibly can with the remainder of my picks. Go with a, a Hendon or a Will Levis or a Malik Willis. I, you guys know I love Malik Willis. A Mariota. I've won multiple Super, like, super Bowls with Mariota. Don't be shocked to see me take Mariota. He's my favorite quarterback of all time. And I, I just win bowls with him. So we'll see you guys in my next pick. So far, grade this. I think this is a 10 out of 10 draft. I really do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Trey Lance just went. That was actually potentially going to be uh, in consideration for my next pick. Malik's still there. I want to go DB. Um, development trait. Speed. I I feel like DB is is good value here. Justin Simmons. Is Matthew still a superstar? He is. Give me Matthew. I get he's small and a little slow, boy. Give me... Welcome back. And he's there now. He's actually he's playing for them. But, like, hey, I get he's not the biggest guy, but, like, he gets abilities. He's a superstar. At that stage, any type of defensive superstar is going to help us out a ton. With my next pick, I can go DB. Hey, Matthew there is a win. That's a win. I promise you that's a win. Later in the draft, I might go down. I think I got to just take the best available DB. I need I need a one. I need a top tier. Greedy is... I've never really used Greedy Williams, but he's 6'2". Buck 85 with 93 speed. He's tough to not... Him and Elam are both studs. Give me... Honestly, give me Greedy Williams and potentially Elam with my next pick. Greedy Williams, 93 speed. At six foot two, this is a good DB at this spot in the draft. A, a very, very good. Tall, 
fast. Not necessarily like going to be able to guard Tyree Kill one on one, but who can? Big enough to make plays, um, but yet fast enough to run with a lot of guys and not really get mossed. I'm super 10 out of 10 happy with Greedy Williams. We go back to back picks. This might be one of my best drafts I've ever had. Um, defensively, we now have Matthew and Greedy Williams. So our, our defense is looking up. Matthew, as you know, you can get good abilities on him. Like I can get any any ability in the game pretty much. I could go depot zone KO, tr play him as a true safety, and then I could go deep. No, nope. mid zone KO. He's going to knock everything out. Even though he's small, you will notice him on the field. Greedy Williams, um, young, 6,000 XP bar is the bizarre thing about him. Fast, good speed, everything. If Elam's there next pick, I'll take Elam and I'll, I'm will i going to laugh my way to the bank. I will laugh my way to the bank. We'll see you guys round seven. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am, uh, I'm in the spot where I'm either going to decide and like, yeah, Malik's gone. Uh, Mariota is still there. Young Desmond, I've never, I've actually had a horrible season. I have used Young Desmond. I had a terrible Young Desmond season, if I'm being honest. Um, these guys are pretty much like the, you kind of get what you get. I don't think one's better than the other. And I, I honestly can get all of them as we go. Um, Elam's still there. Like, he's not the highest overall, but like, to me, Elam is just, he's one of my, truthfully, one of my fave players. Um, just from, in Madden. Like, from a Madden standpoint, uh, Awuzie is there. And Byron's there, though. <sighs> Tough to make that pick with someone like Byron Jones sitting at the top. Nobody wants him because he's older and star dev, but he's, he probably gets mentorship is the thing. That's the only reason why I would go with him. Same with Shaquille. Ooh, Shaquille Griffin. How old is Shaquille Griffin? 27. How old's um Byron Jones? 29. Better stats. He's just not going to upgrade, but I love Byron Jones. But I, I, I do really like Shaquille Griffin. He's actually one of my... One of, on, he would be on my list of like, oh, this guy's one of my favorite players. Um, and I, I don't use him in very many franchises. So I'm going to happily take Shaquille Griffin. If Elam's there next round, I pretty much can um, quickly put together a very good secondary in the late rounds. That's three straight secondary picks. Um, and I, I pick again here. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, I'll see you guys in a few picks. Lewis is a better user. I'm not, I, no, there's, there's still some good users there. Honestly, DB, the DB, I'm taking, I'm taking Byron. The DB, like, picks are very, very, there's a lot of depth at DB. 92 speed, 94 acceleration. I would say that helps create a very strong secondary for us. Uh, and we'll see you guys pick number nine. Okay. Ugh. Is it time? I just don't feel like it's time yet. There's still way too much here. I... I think it's time to take a safety. And I think Lewis is gone. Yeah, this is this actually worked out pretty well exactly how I wanted this to work. Javon Holland, Captain Canada, my user, one of my favorite players, if not my favorite player in the league. I had a league where I got like 12 user picks with him. One of my favorites. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm sick of the theme drafts. I just want to draft a team that I think I can win with. Javon Holland, I don't think I can lose with. Javon is an absolute beast. He looked good as a New Orleans Saint. Now, I feel like I need a rusher. Someone to rush the QB. My secondary is looking good. Like, how do I... Tell me how. Tell me how I don't take Daxton Hill there. Tell me. Just look at me and tell me how I don't take Daxton Hill. This... Everything is falling in, like... This is my favorite draft I've ever done. I'm so happy. I just guessed I was smiling. Okay. Um, we got round 11 and round 12 left. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. We'll see you guys there. Okay, so I missed my chance at Nolan Smith. I actually think that may have been a steal, but um, I would be equally equally happy with an Adolfo Oe at that spot um, to kind of lead us in our, our pass rushing journey. But I also am okay with the CPU getting me pass rushers too. Like, 
kind of need... I only have two more rounds. I need a quarterback, and I would like a running back. Like, you guys know Zeke's, like, my favorite player. I love Zeke in this game. If I'm creating, like, the actual all Brett Barrett team... Yeah, you know what? I'm going Zeke. This is my favorite team I've ever had. I get he's a star dev now, but I, I want Zeke on my team. Zeke is a winner. Zeke will win. I love him, and with my next pick, I got to take a quarterback. That's my final pick. I'll let the CPU figure out my edge rushers. As far as QB, this is going to be a common question of the day. My fourth call, but the most important one. Who would you have? Who would you take? I could take Cam Newton. I could take Cam, Super Cam, but they've really hurt him in statistically, but I could. Um, I could take Super Cam. Is Nick Foles star dev? No, he's bronze. Um, I could take Mariota. Hendon. They got Hendon horrible. Yeah, they have 80 throw. Like, that's ridiculous. That's wrong, first off. Andy... Marcus. Marcus is just my favorite quarterback in the game by so much. Um, throw power. If I'm going to be happy and I'm trying to win a Super Bowl and break this absolutely disgusting slump I've been in, if I'm trying to break this slump that I've been in, I'm going Marcus Mariota. This is the guy that gives me the best chance to win. He simply gives me the greatest chance to win when he is on the field. That's that's all I can say about him. With my final pick, I am going to take quarterback Marcus Mariota. Looks great in a Saints uniform. i got to get him number eight. That's our QB. He can move around. He can do a lot of things well. I've won more Super Bowls with Marcus Mariota than any other quarterback. Guys, this team, probably my favorite. DK, Pitts, oh my god, oh my, I forgot how good, okay, is this the best team I've ever drafted? Matthew, Greedy, Shaq, Byron, Javon, and Daxton, is this the best team, I think it's the best team I've ever drafted, I honestly think this is the greatest team I've ever drafted in my entire life, this offense alone, okay, they, uh, that's the last round, I'll see you guys in the preseason, okay, it's time to see the rest of our team, um, it has our defense as a 79. I actually never just click this. I'm going to, for the first time, click this. Someone asked why I don't. I, don't, I never use this screen. It just intimidates me because I don't play Mutt. So, ooh, I have Darnold Dot. Okay. Um, this is actually a pretty good screen. Okay. It got me Beasley over here. Mike Williams, Zach Pascal. I don't need them. Running backs, Michael Carter behind. Star Dev. Kyle Pitts. Good old line. Cam Robinson's good. Titus Howard's good. I'm actually really happy with those guys. Um, defensively, um, this is oh Bear. Oh, we got some star dev. Ionitis, Isaiah Foskey. That, that's that's a good. I think our pass rush is going to be our biggest issue. Um, Byron Jones, Williams, Shad Griffin. They got me Morig. Wow, we have the best safeties ever. Three three five wide is going to be disgusting with this team. Special teams. I always forget to draft a kicker. What's Greg Zerline? Isn't he good? Eh, he's all right. I, I might, I'll stick with Greg for a little bit. But overall, guys, what do we give this a grade? I think this is a 10 out of 10 draft. I think this is honestly the best team I've ever drafted. Uh, we'll go through the preseason, and then we'll, we'll begin. Okay, this is good. I have wide receiver mentorship. Is it me, Cole? Cole Beasley. Shut up, B's knees, bro. B's knees, you probably aren't going to play, but thank you for mentoring a player who also probably isn't going to play. If you didn't know, I drafted Mike Williams, Miko Hardman, and DK Metcalf, so, and Kyle Pitts, so I'm laughing. Look at me. Ha ha. I'm laughing. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Week one, we got Atlanta. Let's go, boom, fellas! Week one, hey, I ugh, I love this team. I've already said it before. This is, I got this is a win the Super Bowl team. This is a find a way. Obviously, QB is the um, only position that I would say that we're to the average eye. You might say that we are weak at, but I have Mariota. I don't look at Mariota as like, oh, I I don't have a good quarterback. I actually think of it the opposite. I 
I think Mariota is a beast. We have six five receivers. We have speed. We have a little bit of everything on this team. DK is going to get an upgrade right off the bat. I'm going to go playmaker with him because at 85 overall playmaker, um, he'll get routes now. Because I didn't get a quarterback, as much as I want to keep a red zone threat, I need the routes for these guys. So that's the important thing. I think it's 85 possession. See, I don't want to change that. Like, eh. I'd only change that for route apprentice. So when I go possession, you need 85 possession to get route apprentice. So Kyle Pitts, I'm going to be upgrading that for him. And then just as that gets closer, I switched his number to seven just because of the fact that I have a different number eight. And Marcus Mariota does not wear any. Marcus Mariota, when the team shows up, he gets first pick of anybody. That That's my quarterback. Me, Cole Hartman, definitely someone who I think Given the right situation, I, I can make a superstar. Same with Trayvon. Same with Zeke. All these guys, dude. There's too much potential on this team. Let's go do the official depth chart. Starting Mariota over Darnold. Um, Zeke is going to be my main running back. My favorite running back in the game. DK, Mike Williams, and Nicole. Kyle Pitts. O-line is actually pretty solid. D-line, we're, we're far from D-line U. But I'll show you who I'm going to be playing there. Because, yeah, we are... Very far from D-line University, but I do have a Troy Anderson who is kind of good. But DBs were very good. Greedy Williams will probably play the main spot for me. Um, we're, we're fast on defense. Tyron Matthew, I want him to stay there. Trayvon Morhig, I want him more in this, like, playing a little lower. I'll put Clay Brooks up there. Slot receiver, DK for now, because he's the only... And then, yeah, so my edge rushes are Foskey who needs his acceleration fixed, and my user is going to be him. Hmm. With Daxton and Trayvon Moore. That's disgusting. I forgot how good that, I actually forgot how good this team was. This team is freaky. There's a lot of good players on this team. Um, rush right end is going to be Foskey, and then rush other side is going to be... Um, Troy Anderson. It's shocking that as that is, he's just ridiculously fast. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the squad. Um, that's the squad we're going to battle with. That's the squad we're going to have to figure things out against. 11-game season, So, and we have a ton of tough games on the schedule. So, in an 11-game season, we can't afford to mess up. We can't afford to lose. we got to send date. we got to be great. we got to go. Opening day keys to victory. If you know me, uh, I'm not going to hit that, though, because I'm going to go dominating offense. Passing game. I think I can throw for 300 with this offense. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Allen, off the play fake. Get there, Daxton. Oh, anytime you're playing Josh Allen, you better freaking show up or shut up or leave. I feel like my play style, I'm, we're talking real life, but I feel like my play style, I love running quarterbacks. Josh Allen's a stud, don't get me wrong, but like... I got a lot of love for Lamar. Lamar is a fun player. I'm go. I might go Lamar, but Josh Allen. They're like the same to me. But I'm. I'm curious what you guys think. Okay, this guy's sweating over here. Heads up for DJ Moore. That's not good. Oh. Your box, kid. Trayvon Moore. That was an IQ. Go. That was zero. I thought that was thousand IQ. I thought. I thought angles wise we were gonna be absolutely gone. I just have so many big receivers on this team. And then Kyle Pitts. This is a offense that should scare you. Up top. Kyle Pitts all day. Laser go! I don't know. I feel like uh, this is my best offense I've ever had. This is my best team I've ever had. 7 0. Let's dance. Get over there, Javon. Angles, angles, good tackle. Greedy, we gotta grab that. There's a lot of DBs on this team though with potential to get breakouts. Which is what I like most. I can see like three or four of these guys. You gotta just make a tackle. Make a tackle. Make them work in the red zone. What do I always say on the channel? Red zone, dead zone. If you guys want to work on one element of your defense and you don't have time, you don't want to make 100 adjustments, 
figure out how to stop various formations in the red zone. Like, I have different red zone defenses for every single formation. That's the most important part. Let people get it. You don't have to be able to blitz and stop all these things and get fourth down stops. No, if you can make the red zone a dead zone and you know what adjustments and what things to do, you can win a lot of games. Like, look, this guy is totally out to lunch. He He's at, like, Denny's brunch. He's, on, he's eating off the brunch menu. Like a strawberry cheesecake waffle. That is how out to lunch he is. It's 12.30. See, like I said, he's he's a, he's eating off the lunch menu, bro. He's boxed. DK Metcalf. Nice DK. Well done, DK. Love that from you. Love free touchdowns. Yo, Zeke, you're the goat, man. 15 yards. Simple. 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 Until I get some abilities around here, I'm going to rely on him a little bit. What's that safety on the left saying? He's saying, I want to get absolutely torched by Nicole Hardman. Life's simple. I, all I'm doing is watching that safety. He was in a, he was in a cover four quarter, so he's not actually going to play deep because that's not his quarter. Uh, nobody's, nobody's guarding his drag. I knew it. I knew I didn't have anyone on the drag. I'm on that, bro. I'm on that. Boom! Oh my gosh. I don't know if you saw. That was... That was actually good defense. Hidden and distract. Don't get distracted by the fact that that was a failure. That was good. That was a failure. Now I got two timeouts, okay? Red zone, dead zone. When time gets tough, you gotta figure it out. Ooh, I go to Sunday at the Waffle House. Good catch, Pitts. My goodness, good catch. I got nothing else but good things to say about that. That's unbelievable. I want to go up to Nicole, dude. Every part of me wants to go up to Nicole. That's that's just that's Mariota. Crazy thing is, we got the dunk animation. Oh, I mm, I thought he was out of bounds. I don't. You guys, comments down below. Let me know, but I would have thought that he was out of bounds. Zerline's got it. I'm going back to the same thing. He's just got to... DK's just got to catch the ball. I'm going back to the same thing. DK's just got to catch the ball. 9 for 13. I plan on putting up this first game because I want that bonus. I want to be thrown for 300 plus a game. With these receivers, we invested a lot in them. And they're good enough. They're good enough to, to throw for that. Mike Williams, Iron Mike, man. Iron Mike Williams. Come on, Mike. Mariota. That's just what he does. That's just, That was just Marcus. Get alerts, kid. What? Top five most wild game on the line calls. Super random. So you're allowing, oh, that one play. That play worked 50 times. But if that blocking's not great in that one situation, you might be cooked. And this guy's cooked. Let's go. Up top. Up top, Marcus. Up top, Marcus. Team. GG, four touchdowns, 377 one. That's kind of what I expect in the games. I, I plan on being able to run the ball. I ran actually for having crazy passing stats. I actually ran for um, 33 as well on 11 carries. So I would say overall, guys, that's a 10 out of 10 success. Three claps. I'm happy with that. Um, the show goes on. 1-0. We got a good opponent next week. The only thing that I would say that I was like meh about, um, for whatever reason, I just was not having a ton of success. 
mossing people with Mike Williams. I might try DK at that spot, but no, Mike Mike can do like it's not like Mike can't moss people. It just I wasn't mossing people. It's so fun to hit this goal because it means twenty five hundred XP for all receivers, which is what I was looking for because uh with these receivers, a lot of them are close to important upgrades that get them like route apprentice. Always go playmaker when you're trying to get to eighty five like here. Um yeah, already boom, playmaker. So now with DK Metcalf, um, because I have that, I can now get a different ability called Route Apprentice. And Route Apprentice allows me to put DK on any route that I want. Um, his, like I said, same situation. Now with him, I probably don't want to bank on that. I'm probably more attainable is a slot apprentice. But we're 83 slot. And it's and it's not bad for him to get that because potentially that, that could be speed. Those are the things that maybe he's not as good at as a receiver. Um, but overall, guys, success. Dub 1-0. and We'll see you guys week two. Brent, what? Christmas. The rich get richer. I got no super. This is exactly what we sneed right now. Clay Brooks. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be one of the... Um, that's good. Don't, don't get me wrong. Clay Brooks is a stud. Clay Brooks is really fast, which is definitely, like, usable. But... If I'm being honest, the most ideal situation, the most ideal player, bar none, by far, I was hoping for Shaquille Griffin. Any of those star dev guys, Byron Jones, would have been a lot better. Kyle Pitts gets another upgrade to his possession. Shout out Kyle Pitts, um, which means we're one away from tight end or apprentice. I believe actually that gets us total route apprentice, which is amazing. Tyron Matthew gets an upgrade. Um, he's noticeable out there. I always find him noticeable out there. Though. That's like a thing. That's like, I, I always he he nobody ever wants him, but it's just like, bro, he he has a little short. He, you don't probably want him in man coverage, but that's not the ideal. I I don't have any plans on putting him in man coverage. Now, ladies and gentlemen, week two. Um, let's go look at the Bucks team. C.J. Stroud, Devin Singletary, Smith, Lazard, Jalen Hyatt, um, Lewis Seen. Yeah, no, this is a squad too. Yeah, I would say it's a this is a non superstar squad. No like hardly any superstars, but just a ton of speed and a ton of good players. Actually, TJ Watt. Okay. Week two, let's go. Look at that dot. That's just that's just too good. You gotta keep your feet, DK. No! No, you can't. You can't do that. Yeah, I know they call it call a game. That's Okay, one thing I've been really, I just want it to work. I want to be able to go up to Mike Williams in these spots. I really do. One on one. That guy moves his hips. I want it. Mike Williams, love you, man. Yeah, Hill, Daxton, young Daxton. Wow. He's giving me a lot of problems. Oh. Yeah. What I say? This is why you go get Mike Williams. I've been with him so long. Awesome, beautiful. It just took me one game to figure out how to use him. Fourteen nothing. Now Stroud. Open man. That's Devontae Smith. And he. And they'll throw it with Stroud here. First and ten. Oh, that's bad. Matthew, break it up. Oh, Matthew, broken ankles. 302. Okay, we're not gonna let him score here though. Third and goal, Stroud. Good defense. What I say? I said he wouldn't get another yard if he got to the red zone, and I, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. I just I don't think he's got a dot for a lot of people can get here. Not a lot of people, including me sometimes, can throw dots here. That's why I try and score at the 40. As crazy as that sounds, I'll take shots to Mike Williams at the 40 that maybe are 70-30 because I, I know how hard it is to score in the red zone this year. Like, dude's in a cage. And just absolute is that. So blah. On my 89 speed receiver. Wayne Betsky, bro. Wayne Betsky. You think someone else might get open? 
that that's one less zone, one less person, and man, you're sacrificing one of those DB zones. Now I'm gonna put Miko on a streak because I think that safety's dipping. Lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lollipop. You think you're smarter than me, dude? You're not. You might think you are. I, I see that safety moving. I wanna make him pay for that. I wanna make him pay for the clock thing, so I'm gonna go on side. Ooh. Bro, you. That guy's gonna run into the bird hook. Oh my god. Good read. This this formation isn't even like a main formation. See now he's now he's gun shy. No, he's not. Go Kyle. Go Kyle. Yep. Yeah. Go. Mariota! Mariota well getting hit delivers a beam. He he was banking on sending the house there. He was banking on the whole house. That's what I want you to throw. That's Clay Brooks. Welcome to Super Well Stardom. No, that's not me. I don't want Brett Jr. to watch that. Brett Jr. Nope. Close your eyes. Mariota up top again. Inside leverage. Inside out. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, far as breakout. Yep. With with that interception, Chris Claybrooks is now star development in five. That actually makes him a very intriguing corner. I'm not gonna say he's dominant, but that makes him a very, very, very intriguing player. Because of his speed, he is undersized. But he gets two upgrades from that, which is awesome. Uh, if you imagine a speed upgrade with him, like imagine what that looks like. He's now 71 overall. I like him at that safety spot because everyone's trying to bomb and the defenses that I run require kind of a fast safety. As far as the way things are going, Mariota throwing dots. Mike Williams, Marcus Mariota leading the NFL currently in uh, yards. Zeke, Nicole, Mike, everyone's getting the ball. Um, Kyle Pitts defensively. This is my biggest concern down the stretch. We're going to get picks because we have a great, but like, we're not getting many sacks. We got Panthers next week. We'll see you guys next Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week three, 2-0. Oh. Um, got to keep this up. No breakouts uh, at this point, but I would say the only one that I would like, Mariota would be really cool. It just probably, I, I actually wouldn't like this. Maybe we can go multiple seasons. I haven't went in multiple seasons with the fantasy draft, but like, if I was going to, it might be. Um, the biggest weakness of this team is super obvious. It's my pass rush. We have we we the non-existent pass rush is, and I knew it. Like, it's not something that I didn't know when I drafted them. I I knew it was a problem. So, and it's become a problem. Like it's 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 quite simply. We just don't, I don't even know who the best option is. Did they fix Foskey yet? Because they always have the acceleration messed up. No, he's still messed up with his acceleration. That's going to get fixed. But like, my best bet right now is Troy Anderson's fast and big, but like, we have a no pass rush. We are very, Bar Barmore isn't bad. Um, we got a couple of Alabama guys here, but like, not... I'd, I'd, I'd like to be able to play him at tackle um, and then have Foskey rush on the outside. It would be my idea. But like I said, when we're scoring points like we are right now, stops and sacks aren't necessarily needed. We're going up against the 85 overall Carolina Panthers week three. Toughen up. Be great. Let's go. 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victory CD. Oh, I love that defense that I... He's Quite honestly, you're going to see me blitz the entire team and just be like, hey, make a read in that amount of time. See? Now it's 4th and 13. Not to say that that was necessarily the greatest decision in the world, but, like, I'm not going to give you time to get a broken play. Broken players are how you get 20 yards. Not going to give you time. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Like, they're wearing huge coats, Dot. One second. No, you're not doubling Williams. You're gonna learn today, kid. You're gonna learn today, kid. Lazor! Fool me once, fool me twice. No. 
Honestly, that play is so hard to defend. So my user is responsible for the entire right. So any routes, like a Travis Kelsey for this guy going this way, ladies and gentlemen, this is... Honey Badger, okay. Get seven here, get seven after half, call this GG. I don't care about Derwin, bro. <laughs> you, you, you think you think you're I should care about Derwin. That was a little disrespectful. I just care more about Kyle Pitt. Motion him over, motion him back. I just wanna see if he gets open. Ah, uh, it's okay. We get ball at half. I wanted that just momentum wise. Dang. Play action now, Mariota. Just Moss and Metcalf. Yeah, you don't have to be nice. No. You gotta make a perfect throw, Marcus. Swerve on him. See, now I get a second chance in the red zone. So last time in the red zone, I got boxed. So like, the way I'm looking at this is he's got good red zone. Here. I wanna take away all the like, if there's something I'm really good at, like user catching, I wanna just user catch him. Because I know I'm one of the best at that. Nice. We're gonna blitz that guy. We're gonna put that guy in the zone, and then we're gonna blitz this whole side, and he's gonna be in the zone, a ten yards zone. So I'm responsible for anything like this. Nice. That's tough decision between Pitts and DK. And DK is the right decision. Well done, DK Metcalf. But it was not your fault. Let's see if I can get Metcalf with one-on-one -on -one in the safety. I'm going to try a high skill move right now. It's I've never tried it, but I, the idea is I'm trying to get Metcalf a back shoulder uh, against that safety on the left there. Oh, we're just going to go front shoulder here. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week four. 0-3 Minnesota Vikings. Um, we're currently undefeated. We have a really tough. We have like a really tough schedule after this game. Um, not to say this game is not going to be tough, but he is 0 three. But after this game, we have the Seahawks, Bengals, and Cardinals, which are all really, really. I gotta sneeze. Which are all really, really, really tough games. I gotta sneeze. I didn't sneeze. It's so weird when you're like, when you're thinking about sneezing, you can't sneeze. I finally I have to, I have to use this. I hate doing this. I actually hate taking this ability off. It's like such a good ability. But I have to. I gotta win, man. I gotta go route apprentice. I that, that that's what kind of what I've been been waiting for with him. So it's like, how do I not do that? Um, but that's tough. It is because, mm, in in a different sense. I want to keep red zone threat because it's fun. It's fun to just throw him the ball in the red zone. Greedy Williams is amazing. He is like number one on the list of players that I will draft again. Like if you remember Adore Jackson is like a TD Barrett guy, Greedy is going to become a TD Barrett guy. His height, his speed, the way he plays, his, phys his physical stature in the game. Some guys just like, it's like Ben St. Just, um, the Canadian. He just looks huge. So it's like, I love having him on his team because he's just a big, like a big time, um, Body and a big receiver. Week four, we got an opportunity to be 4-0. Let's just keep making good decisions. Don't do anything stupid. Like I said, it's probably my best fantasy draft team I've ever had. So let's just play it simple. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that's such a beam, bro. Good play. But that, that tells me one thing. He's not blocking his running back. So if he's not blocking his running back, the pressure is going to scream. Especially as, oh my gosh. Kobe Myers. What'd I say? He said he had his running back. What do I do? <laughs> I love the honey badger, man. I remember, okay, and I don't say this as like a, 
I, I knew, but I everyone thought they knew. I remember hearing his story in college, and in that draft, he went in the third. I remember every single Titans pick watching the draft on my coach. This is a long time, in my parents' house, and being like, please pick him. I was like, this guy, like, give him a chance. And he goes to the Cardinals, and dude was just, like, electric. His college highlights were so good. Always give me one of my favorite players. And there, like, just the instincts. Annoying thing was, how tall do you think that guy is? I think about 5'10". It's a cover three look, meaning that he's going to be in a deep zone, meaning that I can just moss him all day. Nicole, watch the safety on the left. What's he saying? Yeah, no, Nicole, just throw it to the middle of the field, though. You got to throw it to the middle. Safeties, we'll tell you the story. Ask any QB. I uh, forget which the NFL QB that I was talking to. I don't know if it was Kirk Cousins. But he, I remember him telling me that the safeties will tell any quarterback coach will tell you the same thing. Oh, Holland! When oh, he's gonna run here. He's gonna run here. I just don't think he's like that. As he passes, it's going right to his running back. He is like that good play, dude. Kyle Pitts. The top. Kyle Pitts for seven. Throw it up. Go up top, DK. Well done, DK. Yep. Zeke. I'm, I'm honestly giving Zeke the ball again. That was a touchdown. Don't at me. Did you see the click on? Did you see? I hope you saw the click on. Did you see the click on? Did you see I clicked onto that and swerved him a little bit? That's the little things, man. Click on. Thousand IQ move. Zero IQ move. When asked about Marcus Mario, he, he said elite. Just elite. He said one word. Elite. Okay. As far as the QB1 check, and I don't know, that game was one on defense. I don't even think I would necessarily consider that a dominating... Um, after anything, like we're just getting a ton of picks, and I think that's what's separating this entire season right now. Um, the interception numbers that we're pulling off are just like three. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve interceptions in four games. We're averaging three picks a game. Like this is an underrated ball hawking secondary that I love. Okay, a little while into the next sim, but we got the Seahawks next week, who I believe are also undefeated. So we'll see you guys there week five. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is it, man. This is the biggest game of the season. This is David. Um, the guy's a stud. He's also like a really successful um, hip hop. Uh, I think he makes beats and stuff. So there's a lot of really cool people in the league. I talk, I talk a lot of trash because that's just fun to me. We all do to each other. But there's a lot of really good dudes in this. Um, Miko Hardman gets an upgrade, plus one playmaker, 83 overall, plus one spec catch. Um, Trayvon Moore gets an upgrade. I'm eating, um, have you guys ever heard of Chicago Mix? I shouldn't be. I'm just starving. I'm having like the smallest bowl. Have you ever got it from Costco? Mmm. And in Costco in America, is it as good? No, did my controller break? Like, the one in Canada, dude, our food there, 
That's like the move. If you're looking for like, I used to look forward to it so much. I liked the um, I liked the pizza, but in my old age, I started like appreciating the hot dog. Um, the poutine was also really good when I was younger. I just don't really eat a lot of fries anymore, but the poutine's also good. Costco just has such good food. I went there one day. I think I talked about it in the video. I had like a dream sample day. Like it was like the the stars aligned and it was just like the best samples ever. I don't even know. It was like the world, every, it was like it was tailored to me. Like they were like, oh, what? Brett's coming. Okay, Malik, how do we beat this team? Bro. That's nuts. That's a disgusting receiving core. DBs are trash, though. Buda Baker. We can win this game. We can win this game. But those are good receivers. Those are three really, really good. Different style receivers, but good. This could very well determine the one seed. Let's go. Double on the outside. No, he didn't. Get Moss, kid. Go. Go, Mike. Oh, my. Put him on a poster, Mike. That was why I drafted this team. Oh, my gosh. What a beam from Marcus. Can't throw that in a better spot. You cannot throw that in a better spot. Too slow. Can't be too slow with Kyle Pitts. That's the thing. You just, you can't. Like, some people you can be like a little late to the party. Kyle Pitts, do not be late to the party. 7 up. Taunting there is wild. Wild moves right there to taunt. I had that one I don't care what anyone says. I had that one. I'll get the last laugh, kid. Taunt that, David. Go east west. I don't think anyone on that team can catch you. Yeah. Swerve a little bit. Swerve a little bit. Don't get tired, 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 dive. Something funny? Is that, is that, is, was something funny? Is that why you were taunting? Because something was funny? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw left side, there's London. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Third down, it's Willis. Throw the C route, bud. Oh, don't throw that one. Throw the, throw the other one. When I said throw the C route, I meant the other one. I got this box. Back to throw Willis. Touchdown, Seahawks. <laughs> Didn't have that. Oh, now I'm throwing Mariota. And they're gonna get this to Here's Mariota. Toward the sideline and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's gonna be a first down. See the triple axle? Easy dots, man. Three, two, one. Easy dots. One stop and this. One stop. Like I said, I think the number one seed may... Not 100%, but this is going to be an important game seed. Anyway. I promise you this will be an important game seed. Anyway. Slant. Post. And Holland ran. I ran to my own guy. I hate fast receivers. Unless they're mine. Brand new ball game, all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical in the second. My brain tells me block this and go up to Mikola. Motion comes the tight end left. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. This is good of a punt, I guess. K defense. Oh. Willis 
Pitch now off the play fake. Greedy. And this rub is trying for it on fourth down. Here's Willis. Got his man. It's Willis to throw. Okay, kid. Your box. Take your three. Money drive on me, money drive on three. You want it, Brett? You want to be successful? Let's go. This is where you do this is where you do it right here. Like, to me, the way I think about this, I'm getting sacked out of bounds. Like, what? <laughs> if anything, I think that's going out of bounds. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, well, hopefully, like I said, this sets up some good redemption in the playoffs. Nothing's going to be easy. First loss of the season, Mariota throws the ball to him. Dang. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Bengals week. Um... Important to just forget about that last game. That last game was annoying. It was frustrating. I messed up. Um, it told me one thing. I think I need to do more read option with Marriott. I think as the season goes on, I feel like I kind of learn. Like, okay, maybe this is the offense. This isn't. I haven't hit that Nicole route enough to use that still as my offense. So I'm going to switch up. I've considered running spread with this team and running a little bit of QB wrap with Zeke and Mariota with the weapons we have just to try that. Uh, I'm torn. I really am because, oh, you can go a bunch of different directions. I do think I want to switch to the playbook. It's not a good playbook for, it's a good playbook for some teams. It's a really good playbook for the Lions with um, more of a pocket quarterback. But in this situation, I think I need a different quarterback. So, ladies and gentlemen, week six, going up against the Bengals, Justin Jefferson. Um, we currently have the number 13 offense, number four defense. Our defense has been actually surprisingly considering we drafted offense the best part of our game up until this point, which is awesome to see. Mariota, um, 15 touchdowns. See the seven picks. This is why. I'll tell you why I'm switching up the offense. Great passing stats. This isn't enough. We got to go to more of a running offense, which is what we're going to do here. Let's go. On play action, Mariota. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Watch 30. Love, see what I mean? This is a bit more of a dynamic offense, a bit more of a run threat, which hopefully makes the like just even just getting Zeke the ball more. I love Zeke getting Zeke the ball more, having Mariota as a run threat, um, having like the jet touch pass as an option just to kind of in case they start pinching their line like crazy, like this. Like, this is the offense that I should have been running. That's on me. I tried to treat Mariota like he was just a pocket QB. I need to utilize his athleticism. 7 0. Crosser. Dude. Is this the Dylan? Throwing Jones. From the way number four played that was insane. I don't know. Rewatch the way. Who is number four on our team, even? Third and goal, bro. Now you're back at the two. Now I know you're not running the ball again. Now that you're back at the two. One thing to get there. Hey, got burnt like toast, Greedy Williams. That tackle made up for it. That was the coolest animation I've ever seen in my life, but not enough. No, that's wild. Mm. That's wild to me. Please don't run. Can you not run on my field, please? I, I see why with Jonathan Taylor, but can we just not run on my football field? Pass lead it up and swerve it. Slide. This game is so different because, like, other Maddens, I immediately would trust that. I don't know if you saw my hesitation there. My hesitation is because so often you'll get a crazy shed in plays like that. Like, someone will just come free. That's what I was terrified of. Up the 
middle. Here's Elliott. It's gonna go double post, man. On first and ten, here's Mariota. This is as soon as I saw man, just two posts. Slants, you can kind of cover both. Double post is a wild combination, but if I know I'm not getting blitzed, I can run it. And you're just banking on one. He's got a user one of them. Because between Pitts and Metcalf, they're both going to be burned in there. 14 0. Greedy. Greedy Williams. Well done, Greedy Williams. That's too open. Gotta catch that DK. Well done, DK. Well done. Yeah, that's awesome for the game here. I don't want it to see. As soon as that safety comes down, just like real NFL, I promise Justin Herbert's throwing that ball. Like, I promise you, bang, Justin Herbert's throwing that ball. GG's. Okay, with that win, guys, we move to 5-1. and one. The division, the Panthers are obviously still in it. The Bucks are still in it. The Bucks are closing. Um, but all in all, week seven, we got a tough game against the Cardinals. Another one of the better teams. Um, they're two and three, but I know that's Ernest. Ernest is a good player, so I'm surprised he's two. Like that's shows how good some of these players are. Ernest is good, Mr. Retro. Um, we got him in week seven. Good performance, GG. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I need a hat, like not like a team hat, um, not a team hat. Like, dude, what are cool? Well, maybe a team, but what are cool hats? Cause sometimes my hair just isn't isn't it, and I just need a hat. If you know any hat brands, let me know. Any cool hats? Something. Some's better than nothing. Um, let me know. Okay, cards week two and four. Um, DK Metcalf. Ooh, DK gets an upgrade. I felt like, like I said, last game the run game was better. Mixing in the run with everything. I need to I need to mix in more Marcus Mariota. I think that's a big part of this entire experience. With this, this actually changes a lot of things. So now that I have the slot upgrade with him, I can now have slot apprentice on him. This is conflicting. Dude, I like DK where he is, but DK's faster. So on the outside, DK is more of like a, I'll just burn you because I feel like it. Whereas Mike Williams is actually who I might want it to be running more corner routes. I feel like sometimes DK running corner routes seems like a little bit of a waste um, because it's a little bit of a waste. I just don't think he needs to be the one doing corner routes. Awareness plus one block plus one spec catch. Marcus Mariota gets an upgrade to Scrambler, um, getting him up to a 72 overall. Shout out Marcus Mariota. Throw accuracy mid, throw accuracy under pressure, and Isaiah Dunn. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, week seven, Cardinals week. Um, let's just keep on winning. Keep the stats good. Keep everything good. Stats good equals life good. Let's go. They'll set up a throw. Throw out wide to Walker. Okay. I'm kind of getting this figured out. The attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Come on. That dude is a problem. Yo, use your freaking brain, 2 3. Use your brain, 23. Oh my gosh. Like that, those bug me more than anything. That's bad defense. Okay, be better, Brett. Ballistic. Laser beam! The dot. See how he just moved that guy there? I know he's in some weird type of zone. Celebrate! It's zone on the entire right side. He thinks this is man based on alignment. This is zone. He's in for a rude awakening when he realizes that this is zone. Ah! He definitely ran a man concept, but dotted us nonetheless. Yeah, I put Greedy right there. He rifles one that's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. Send heat, man. From the 45 on second down. Mariota taking a deep shot here. The beam. That's a laser beam. He tried. 
He tried to put a uh, to cover the pits route. Not gonna let that happen on my watch. 14-7. Good job, DK. Play action now, Mariota. Kyle Pitts up top. Laser. Stay in. Off the play fake, Mariota. Kyle Pitts. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. One stop. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Oh, Kenneth. I'm... Man, I love Kenneth IRL. Just in this game, I hate playing against him so much. Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. It's one. Ready? On play action, they'll throw. Come here. Oh, the block comes out on motion left. Going deep here for Watkins. That's going to be knocked away. Bruh. Bruh, that's more? Ooh. Big time dubs, fellas. Big time dubs. GG's, 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 GG's in the chat. Shake hands. Got him. Okay. Next week's a big one against an AFC powerhouse in Dawn. Um, like I said, whenever, if I can win the division, my division's just beating each other up right now. So I think I have a good chance to win the division. As far as the one seed, Seattle, I think uh, they just played. Yeah, their game's done. They're 7-0, and which is tough. We're playing the Raiders suit. See you guys then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week 8. Um... This is a big time matchup. Like I said, Raiders are a tough out. In every league I play this guy, the same dude. Always, always, always a tough out. We've got ourselves into a spot where our playoffs we should be set up decent. Um, at least decent. Seeding wise. I don't know who we'd be playing, but we, we should be decent. Javon Holland. I feel like I'm getting smarter. That game I got boxed a little bit. Um, and I've been trying to figure out what it is that I'm missing. What should this be the spread offense? Should this be like with the spread offense with me, Cole? Should I be trying to throw to both sides? Like, there's so many questions I have of like, how do I win with this? Is the, an amazing team, but how do I win them? Okay, Jordan Love, Jalen Waddle. This is a fast squad, and then DBs are the main thing. Holy moly! Yeah, he's gonna just play man. We gotta have man beaters on the field, man routes, man everything. I already know I need man beaters. I'm gonna run a different playbook against him that has a little bit more man. Um, Beating routes? Actually, no. No, I'll, I'll stick to it, guys. 5-1 and one versus 6-1. Let's go. Looking to throw again on second down. Love. Open here, Adam Thielen. Any way they can. Four catches a week ago. There's another one right there. Love's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And he will slide. He does have He's the short. He's short. Wow, I guarantee he is shocked that he is short on that. On fourth down, love. Dang, that's just They'll go with the keeper. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Okay, we need seven. We need seven here. Badly. There we go. Okay, get seven for half. I wasn't completely amazed with his. Um, I wasn't completely amazed with his defense. Metcalf. Hurry it up. And the Saints are gonna have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three. Just call call the first play you got. Get a new set of downs if it doesn't work. Now Mariota. Beam. Dot. He saved his timeouts. He he was trying to get me to run out of the clock. I see what you're doing over there, bro. Play action this time with love. Try to lay one up deep. And this is caught. Like, I don't know. What do you want me to say about that one? That's just a... That's a missile. Mariota from the gun on third down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. 
Beam. Kyle Pitts. Well done, Pitts. So fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against him. Got him. Me cool. I almost ran. And I, I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad I didn't. Because I think I would have ran right into, like, everything there. To throw again on second down. Love looking deep downfield. This is I'm trying. So much. Curious if he uses his timeout. He's honestly not the type to use a timeout here. He's I feel like his personality is more stubborn. Like his personality is more the type to just say if he scores, he scores. But he trusts his defense. That's his personality. My personality is to do something like this. Okay, 21 seconds. Shouldn't have taken his time out there, should have waited. Dang. Oh, that stings, fellas. Mm. This is like a team, if any team I've ever had can catch this Hail Mary. It's this team right here. Bro! Oh, gosh. There was a lot going, there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of jump ball power here, though. I thought one of them would jump. Like Metcalf, technically it was to Metcalf. But like, oh, Pitts, you were close. Okay, GD, hey, that's our second loss of the year. That's not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Meaning we're going to have a tougher road in the playoffs. I still feel like I got this team's good, but games like that definitely are a big time negative. We got to win week nine. We have three games left. Like I said, we only play until week 11 in these. And then wherever at, I'm still six and two, so I'm still in a decent spot um, to win the division. But I gotta win my next three, no doubt. I gotta win my next. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week nine. <laughs> be great today, fellas. I, I I always make the statement. Let's is choose today to be great. We gotta win these three games. Going up against the Baltimore Ravens, I think a good record team uh, in the AFC. This is back to back AFC games. Um, they're seven and one. This is gonna be. There's no easy games. It's gonna be another tough one. Another one where we gotta figure something out. Another one where I gotta be creative. I gotta make good, smart reads if we're gonna win the game. I don't feel good about this team yet. I want to try the spread offense, and I think that last game was enough for me to be like, okay, let's try something. I want to try the spread offense. I want to run QB rap and all the, that kind of stuff. I want to run some Raven stuff with this team. I feel like it could work. Either way, it's gonna be fun. Um, we got enough jump ball specialists that if. If people want to play man against, I think I could just egg with any receiver that I have on the field. Four, like three receivers with the tight end. Let's go look at this Ravens squad. Um, 87 overall offense is kind of bonkers. Anthony Richardson, Harrison. Okay, Wayne Betsky, fellas. Wayne Betsky, need a win. Okay, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I was kind of talking about doing with Mariota. Like, some old-school Oregon Mariota is kind of the vibes that I want. We have the weapons to make it so people can't really press us or play one-on-one. -on -one. So, it's like, with that, adds just... It gives me so many options offensively. When I know that I can just go up and do this... I don't know for sure. He's doubling right now. He just doubled him. So if people want to, if people are wanting to double Mike Williams and leave single on picks, like that's what I need. Like he's doubling right there. 
Marcus Mariota! God. There it is. Brett, took me a, took me too long to figure this out. No, that's a freaking laser. Come on, Jones. DK Metcalf, well done. Here's Mariota. Flush to his right. First and ten, it's Richardson. And he's got it. What a catch on the Okay. Red zone, dead zone. Back to the air with Richardson. To throw Mariota. Williams brings it in. First half. They'll throw again. Mariota. The right side going to be caught by Hart. Mariota. To the right side. And okay. to Metcalf. From the red zone now. Mariota. Yep. Double Mike Williams. I win when you do that. Not necessarily that I'm going to win the game, but... As soon as you start doubling Mike, I win. Richardson working from the gun. Completes it to the tight end Kittle. They'll get it inside the 20. All the way in for the Ravens. <laughs> that last touchdown we just saw, Charles. We got ourselves a brand new ball. Yep, game. go Marcus. Tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second. <laughs> well done. Seven for 88. Gotta get this. DK Metcalf. Well done, DK. He's got three. Yeah, there's no point in trying to clock though. Third and goal. Mariota. Back shoulder. That was a beam. I kind of think that I'll have me Cole Hardman here for a lot of yards, but I just don't know what he's doing. Ten out of ten, dumb. Legitimately, ten out of ten, dumb. This is my dumb prize for this stupid game that I played. Dang, good game. There's just so many things that I'm mad at myself about on that last play. So many things. Like here, I could have thrown that to DK. I could have gotten out of bounds. Like, out of bounds was the move. I was like, thinking in my head, I was like, okay, I need 10 yards. So, I was like, you know what? I need to get to here. 32. So as I'm running, I'm like, let's try and get to the 32. Bro, that look, put that on your wallpaper. Oh my gosh, just absolutely depleted. Ah, GGs. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, anger, anger. I'm, I'm mad at myself. Those are just self. Just like who freaking truck? I tried to truck, dude. I also had no, there's so many reasons that was dumb. I could do a TED talk and list below your reasons. I'm going to give my three reasons why that was dumb. One, you have to get out of bounds. Two, Metcalf was open. Three, why are you trying to truck with your quarterback? Just go like four. 
Bruh. Five. Dude, what am I doing? That's, there's my five. Give me your, like, that's unforced errors. Like, sometimes I'm really, I feel really good at this game. And I oftentimes will win. I win Super Bowls. I do. I do. I do win Super Bowls. But sometimes, man, we're all even. We have two weeks left until the sim. So, like I said, we only do 11 weeks in these fan drafts because what we found is playoffs are usually pretty much decided by then. So, after week 11, we're going to go to the playoffs. Now, as far as standings go, now, I do want to take a look here. It's a dance. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, it is a legitimate dance for that last spot. We got to win these two games. We're going up against the 8-0 no Steelers, Mike Evans, and the number three overall offense. Let's box. Play action. It's Lawrence. Ah, oh, good read, bro. Give me those. Give me those. Oh, who's his quarterback? Trev? Dumb. Dumb on me. Dumb on me. Ah, Brett Jr. don't watch that. Brett Jr. don't watch that. Mm. Why do I always need to taunt? It's, I think it's a me issue. I hope I don't score because I don't deserve to score. Good job, Marcus. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Um, we lost connection, but we we switched the um, quarter lengths to three minutes. So essentially, we're able to just start from here. So the game is going to continue. I am up 7 nothing. I get ball at half. Let's dance. Must win game, actually. Playoff-wise, if I were to lose these next two, I could be in a world of trouble. Just given the situation, given everything, I, I really can't afford it. Um... He's already made his mistake, so I just can't make a mistake. That's a beam. Good read, man. Motion block. Who's going to be on the route? 13. Cover 13. Cover 13. Or that guy. Holland. And I do. That's just... Mm, it's a good user play. Give me those. Depends. Inside or outside in. Had to stay away from that guy. Good laser. He's so mad. Oh, I got mm. Thank you, Madden. Nice catch, DK. You're going to leave one-on-one, -on -one, dude. You're playing a dangerous game. Look at this. Look at this defense. I don't even know if... I don't think I can actually call that... Legally, I can't call that defense. Because that's legally wrong. He's having... He's triple-teaming Metcalf. Metcalf needs to be on that side. As much as I love Mike Will... Hmm... Here I'm content with three. Like I said, I just I need this dub very badly. Um, I'm content with three here, but I got seven. It's cool when I do it. It's a problem when they do it. Dang, I hate that. Again, it's Lawrence. He completes it to Julio Jones. Now Lawrence to throw. Get lurk, kid. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Boom! Good job. Needed that win very badly. Okay, Nicole should be open here. I just don't see a world where I'm not in the end zone with Nicole. Just gotta throw it at the right time. It's all about timing. I, and I'm not trying to, like, sound too smart, but if I throw that about a second earlier or later, that's an interception. I, you can either believe me or not, but no. Me personally, I don't use my D tackle. Me per unless it's Sergeant. Where's that from? Bro! No! That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I love Mariota. 300 or three total touchdowns to get him up. That is so wickedly cool that we're going to have a chance to do that. Okay, we're playing against the Rams here. Um. This is, like I said, the fantasy draft seasons are 11 weeks and then the playoffs. So this is our final game of the regular season. 
Now, as far as where my head's at, what I'm thinking, I, I got to get to eight and two uh, to give myself the best playoff seating. I think that's very, very, very important. Um, we've had no upgrades through 11 weeks. Like, I can't believe anybody but myself. I'm trying to get picks. I'm trying to do great things. It's just not working, but it is what it is. We have This is an upgrade possibility. The Panthers are also 7-3. and three. So this game, if I lost this game, I would lose the division. And if I lose the division, I would drop. Now, as of right now, also, this is about the tiebreaker. So, like, I am currently 1, 2, 3. Like, I'd be the 4 seed. But if I beat him, I would still be the 4 seed. I think I'll probably just be the 4 seed either way. I think I have guaranteed playoffs. But... Yeah, the Seahawks are still 10 and 0. I'm excited to play the Seahawks. I, I want I want that rematch. We guys, week 11. Let's go. On third down, Brissett. He's gonna air one out. He's got a man. Pickens? What? From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Come on, Griff. The kick by Bass is good. Here's Mariota. Going for Metcalf. Up top. Up top. DK. Mariota now to throw on first down. Yeah, throw that normal. Yep, Kyle Pitts, seven. There it is. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete to two first. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. That's back to back plays of over It's a good run. It's like a weird inside zone. It's a little bit different. This is a, this is spread play book. Tackle over is only in spread. And he was running a little bit of tackle over. So also low key tip. Nah, dude. Oh, hit him with the swerve. Nope. Okay, get set. I gotta get seven here. This guy's tough. We, we get ball at half, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the clock from him just because if I could score here and score again, I could put myself in a super optimistic. Super optimistic? Super optim, optimal place to win this game. Bro, I just stumbled through the word opt optimal. Optimal just one. Yeah. 15. Yup. Are you. Why is everyone playing weird today? Why is his tackling unaggressive? Who takes face masks? I'm just going to keep on running. Because. Tie game, me getting ball is a win. I get, let's say I get seven, and he gets seven. That's a loss. I'm still down three. I'm better off to take three and give him no time than to get seven and then give him seven. Where were you? Where were you? Good job. Take, give me a t You're not going to take your time out? Okay, I'm just going to make dummy adjustments here. Hurry the line, make it look like I'm going. I don't want him to like panic and use a timeout. Motion people randomly. Motion him left. Motion him right. Just so he doesn't take a timeout and then we snap. Good stuff. Now he's got eight seconds. I get ball at half. I got a chance to go up 11. Go. First down. Mario did a throw it this time. No way. No, I did not. Oh, your user was watching Amos. You weren't playing Amos. You were watching the game. That's a wild read. That's a read. That is a. Oh, that's a bad read. Like a bad book report. You show up, that's no read. You didn't read the book. That is a, you did not read that book. I know you did not read it. You just said you did. And then after that, what happens after bad reads? We go up top to DK Metcalf. Oh, that was disrespectful. How disrespectful do we want to get here? No. 
I was trying to swerve on him. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be GG's, fellas. Yeah, Mike Williams. GG's, bro. GG's, let's go. Okay, I think we got the QB breakout, which would be awesome for Mariota. Dude, star dev Mariota. That just makes me happy. Dude, luckily, they don't dock you for game-losing fumbles because he's got 14 of them. Um, that gets him up to a... Like, he should be a 96. He really should be, but... Like I said, there's some stuff to figure out, but as of right now, we are going to win the division. We'll probably be the number three or number four seed come playoff time. I'll kind of show you guys as we get closer. Great regular season. Um, just in the games that we played, I'll show you the stats. Then I'll obviously show the end of the year stats. 32 touchdowns, 10 picks for Marcus. DK, this team is ridiculous. Zeke did not utilize as much as I could. Tried more at the end. Tried to make up for it. Greedy. People were getting greedy and testing, dude. This is the sad thing. Nobody can get to the quarterback. Nobody. Not a person. But that's okay. GG's, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boom, fellas. Okay, so with us getting the three seed. So we were we had the third best record after 11 weeks. Um, we ended up as the number three seed, meaning we are playing against the Carolina Panthers, who we have already played. We're going to go through the roster, talk about things. I'm going to see how I played against him week number one. And see if that strategy needs to change or if that strategy can kind of maintain. Clearly, I had some form of success against him um, because I know I won that game. But how much, what plays, all that is, um, is something that I still have to figure out. When we have these big upgrades, we get to get a ton of cool upgrades. DK Metcalf gets an upgrade. The thing is, I am in between. Comment down below what you guys think I should run. I'm in between running. The offense where I come out in, oh, I'm just so 50-50 on that. It's difficult. It, it really is. Because part of me wants to, a big part of me wants to just run the option and run all those kind of things. But another part of me is like a little bit afraid of that, you know? Like there's, there's definitely a part of me that's like, am I comfortable enough? with that offense to roll it out on the red carpet in the playoffs or is that just not or do I kind of go if if I'm going up against someone that I think I can beat with the other offense am I better off go, like let's go at least see week number two Panthers I won 20 to three I had three touchdowns and a pick see to me what does this tell me I'm gonna run the same offense I'm not gonna overthink it I think this is a decent matchup for me I felt like I played him really good the first time we played. So I think overall, this is at least a decent matchup. It's Will Levis, Derrick Henry, Cooper, Tony Nose, um, Travis Kelsey, Taylor Lewan, Ajabo. DBs are really fast, but we, we can mess with them. And I think, did he hit snow game or what? Or is their morale just horrible? Um, either way, guys, game one of the playoffs, I got to spend my staff points, which will take me. I should talk. I should give you guys a fun fact about me and then in the comments we can talk about it or you can talk about it. what's a fun brett fact i love reality tv the survivor finales tonight um you may not I've, I've seen every single episode of survivor any reality television like survivor amazing race big brother um canada and us those, those are like my favorite tv my favorite current actual tv show that is like if anyone else is on the hype train i need you to say something and we just need to talk about it because I love Ted Lasso is probably I would put it like next to kind of Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad is like one of my favorite shows ever. I uh, for a long time I said Breaking Bad was I love Breaking Bad. I thought that was just like beautiful storytelling and writing. But um, Ted Lasso just has the sports element which appeals to me. So I love that. Guys, Carolina, New Orleans, let's go. For the play to develop, Motion. Get cheated. Get cheated. Trying to run a glitchy RPO. Get cheated by the game. Beautiful. Okay, offense. We have the weapons. Um, there, I have zero excuses. We get a stop on the first drive. Great defense for three plays. We blitz. We don't blitz. Like, could not have played that better. Now, we got to find a way to get set. Oh, Kyle Pitts, you're different. 
Bean. Kyle Pitts, you, my friend, are the definition of different. Okay, find a way here. He's, he's playing like a cup. I'm gonna have Kyle Pitts. Yep, go Holland. Good job. Good job, Barrymore. Second and 11. Okay, I know what he wants to do here. He wants to go over the top to DJ Moore. I need Matthew to play that DJ Moore route like he's never played anything. And I put Clay Burks right there. I inside thirded. Matthew, yep. Dude, I've just seen this particular offense. I feel like I could do a TED Talk on how to stop it. And that not to sound cocky, but I just... Every single time I play that offense, I feel like I'm two steps ahead. Which is a good feeling to have because oftentimes it's really predictable reads. Like that one, that was incredibly predictable in my mind that, that he was going to that. Okay, we gotta do something, fellas. This is not it. This is not it. Good job, Mike. Nothing stupid. Just get points on the board here. Good cut, DK. Good cut, DK. Up top. Boom. Need him at that position. I figured it out. This offense, I like that. Okay. Maybe even better than my other offense is this offense, Nicole on the right. Mike in the middle. Like, I just don't feel like I can run a running QB offense. I got weapons, dude. I got weapons. Move a little bit and then throw a laser. Back of the end zone, being Mike Williams up top. 7-0, let's dance. That's the play that I... Clay Brooks, what a job! Uh, that's the play. Oh, I didn't just didn't expect him to go to it in that situation. I should have. 100% I should have. Come on, Mike. Well done, Mike Williams. Good body control. I got a buck 47 and I get ball at half. The way you probably play this, the way I'm going to play this might be different than, oh. I think you run it. At least, I, at least minimum, I think I try and get to the three. If I can get three, I'm in good shape. Kyle Pitts lays. Kyle Pitts, nice job. Yep, down to the 21. 52 seconds. Okay, just watch his user. Yeah, got him. DK, laser beam from Marcus Mariota. Swerve catch, I went in, out. Got it, I leave him what? 22 seconds, that's honestly an I, I have this thing that I call the like enough to do something stupid time. This is what I like to call enough to do something stupid because 22 seconds is enough time to really throw away your game. Like, bad. Because you might think you're in trouble. Throw a pick. Give me a pick six here. Give me a three. Fumble on the kickoff. This is like not necessarily enough time to score, but definitely enough time to do something stupid. And if he does, I'm going to say I called it. If, if he does something stupid, I'm going to tell you guys that I called this. Because I did. I think he might do something stupid here. Like test, like test Greedy Williams on that left side and throw a pick. That's what, I, that's what I foresee, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I could see him testing Greedy. He was just about to. Like when, I, when I press like this, I just trust Greedy Williams. I'm not worried about Tony and I'm not worried about Thomas. Tony's route, actually, I should maybe... I have to kind of watch up top on both, but he's doing verticals. It's there. It's there. I knew it. What did I say? Bro! Oh my gosh, it's the most obvious streak. I know you see he's pressed, but that does not mean it's sweet. Now, now I know exactly what he's doing. I know, I know the play he's doing, and I know who he wants to throw it to. So, 
If you can't stop a play when you know what he's doing, that's fine. I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna let you throw the bomb over the middle though. Okay, I mean, cool. Do you want to just house this? Put an end to this early? Tell him to start the car. Do you want to just tell him to start the car, me, cool? Tell him. Didn't you tell him? I, I got to get something for calling my shot. I got to get something. Do I get a like for calling my... If you notice the call, do I get a like for calling my shot? I just know this play. I know you're trying to hit DJ Moore. I got to use her both. You know what? These are him and him. Ah, oh, what? Good route. I thought he was on. I thought he was on a post. That was a middle high low route. That's that's different and that's weird to defend. Shoot. There actually is no way to lurk that route while trying to defend the streak from the other guy. No, that's not good. Yeah, takes two. Takes two to tackle him. Lock in, Brett. I want. I want my redemption against. Seahawks. I want that redemption to Seahawks so bad. Give me those. That's Javon Holland. It's Javon Holland, my friend. All I'm playing for right now is my redemption against the Seahawks. I did not like how that game against Seahawks ended. I want to play them again. That's all I want to say. I, I want my redemption against the Seahawks, and I want to win the entire thing. This guy, I felt like from the beginning, he gave a lot of people trouble. That five wide, I have played someone who plays like that. I was not overly concerned with the five wide. I felt like I could. It's the next guy. It's the two seed who I know is going to be our biggest competition. That's a B. That's 21. GG, bud. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good game. Good game to my opponent. Um, show goes on three more wins. That game, honestly, if I could have, like, that was a good first round matchup. That's someone who I felt like I could beat divisional. Is going to be interesting. We're still waiting on one game, the Patriots. But I'm the two seed. He's the three seed. Five and one. If I could get past this game, there's no stopping this. I, I really don't think there is. But it's the Seahawks. The Seahawks team, the player, they beat us already. It's going to be tough. I'll see you guys in a minute when we go to that round. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, divisional. <sighs> Malik, this is, this is a rematch. At, at the end of the day, this is just... Plain, simple, this is a rematch. This is uh, this is personal. It's not personal, but it's, it's one that I want to win. It's, it's a really good opponent. It's, it's someone with a really good team. And it's someone who I know is going to make things difficult. I feel like what I ran last game on offense is actually my best. That was me. Everyone in the positions that I had, the Miko on that left side, I feel like he gives a lot of one-on-one -on -one looks. I feel like I can burn him deep with Miko. My worry is... And I may regret this at the end. 100% I may regret this. My worry against him is is going in and running that run offense and just getting boxed out of my mind because I know I need some routes. Like, I need some good routes. 34 touchdowns to 11 picks. Um, he ran the ball a lot, passes the ball. Like, I don't think his offense is necessarily rocket science. I, I don't. It's good. Do I think I can stop his offense? Yes. The answer to that is yes. But... If we look at our game, I lost 27. I, I had a money drive. He, I caused a pick. I was not efficient, but I also only ran the ball twice. I think if I run the ball, I worry about JMO more. He puts Jamison at tight end. I have to worry about that. The Jamison at tight end requires some better attention because he burned me with it. Many times, the Jamison Williams at tight end. If you guys want to know how to do that, it's in spread playbook. Um, that's how he does. There's a formation where you can actually put a tight end on the line. Let's go look at his team. Analyze what we're going up against and uh, figure out the best strategy to stop it. So receiver wise, he's got two superstars. Like this is pretty much three superstars. JMO's crazy and two superstars, but they're pretty slow. So like these guys can be manned up with help on the corner routes. Defensively, um, he just blitzes every play. So his DBs aren't crazy. This is why I think Nicole could have a big game if I could catch him in any look. Any press look, I think I can go up top with Miko. This is going to be the type of game. How good is this Saints team? Is this the best team? I, it is the best team I've ever drafted. Can I clutch up when it matters most? Can I win the big games? Can I get the fantasy draft? I have struggled with the fantasy drafts over the last four or five. Can I figure it out and get a win? Let's go. Choose today to be great. Yep. Good job, Miko. He loves to scream. As 
We saw last game, he loves, 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 loves sending pressure. Games like this, we, we got to be prepared for that. Um, definitely have to be considerate of that on every single snap. That at any point, he could be sending a good run, Zeke. Smart playoff, Brett. Good job, Kyle Pitts. Yeah, let's go, Kyle. Simple reads, simple reads. Give me those. We're a happy family with a nickname. Blah, 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 blah. That was a bit of, that was just Mariota in the playoffs, I guess. I don't know. Can't say that was smart. No, no one's going to look at me and say, Brad, that was smart. Nobody is. You're not. Nobody's going to say it was smart, but they can't deny. They go play action with Willis. He's airing it out for Williams. And that is going to be called in one-handed. Plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes. Follow your block. Follow your block. Zeke, playoff Zeke. Three for 23, okay. That first drive, it's not like he dotted me up. Like, I can live with getting dotted. I really get mad when I, I give up touchdowns like that last one. Those are not the type of touchdowns. Those, those are how you lose games. You cannot, like, make someone throw a dot from the five-yard line, and I, I'm cool with that. But... Good job, Pitts. Stay in, bud. Stay in. Make someone throw a dot from the five-yard line and lose, fine. I lost. But just allow Jamison Williams to just have the easiest touchdown ever, that I'm not okay with. But we, all I can say is we just got to keep scoring. It's going to be a high-scoring game. He's got a good offense. I got a good offense. Who wants it more and who's going to be the last one to get stopped? Oh. I never run out of this, so I'm going to actually run. Hope he doesn't see this coming. Elliot. Yeah, he didn't. Good job. 14. Ooh, okay, let's dance, fellas. Hey, two drives, two times. I'm doing everything I can. From a offensive perspective, I've done enough so far to win the game. Zero mistakes, eight for eight passing. It's defense. Can we get him off the field? Because if I can get a stop and then a score, I could force some pressure drives. And pressure is when pressure burst pipes. And that, that's what we need. I need him playing with pressure because that's when he's going to be a little bit more like this, a little less like this, and our chances of an error go way, way, way up. <clears throat> I put a zone there. Yup. I put Jones right there, bud. You think you can cover three bomb me? It's not sweet. It's never been sweet out here. I promise you it's never been sweet. Good defense. You got to convert here. Just give them the game, Brett. If, if you're gonna make if you're gonna make decisions like that, don't even show up. If you're gonna make decisions like that, don't even show up. Don't even show up to the playoffs. Now Mariota on fourth down. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna play like that, there's no point. They'll look to run with Algier. He's across the chalk into the end zone. In their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, Drop it. On second down, Elliot. Good job, Zeke. And he'll get it out of play action now. Mariota forced out to his left. And he will not. Mariota to throw for it on four. And they get him as he. Third down, it's Willis. This is caught at the 20. Now Willis on first and 10. Throw left side completion. Okay. He, he either gets three or he takes a chance. That's what I wanted with that play. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Can only blame myself. On third down, it's Willis. 
Escaping the pressure right. And he He's short. Trying for it on fourth down. Here's Willis. That's. <laughs> yeah, I can only laugh at that. I can only laugh at that read. It might just not be meant to be, fellas. That's a book. That's a. That's your fourth down read. That's your fourth down read. He's gonna clock us out, man. To the air on first down. Here's Willis. And this turns into a Willis looking to throw on first down. Good hit. Good hit, Trey. Good hit. On second and ten. Willis. This is caught. And he does it Oh my. I'm just he he it's not. He's meant to win this. This, this was this is just he's just meant to win. There's sometimes there's nothing I can do my best for the rest of this, but some of these animations have been ridiculous. Some of these like bro, we got we got to score. Not only do we have to score here, we got to score somewhat quick. They need to come up with something as they get this drive started. Not only do we got to score, we got to score somewhat quick. To throw on second and ten. Mariota targeting the out route, and he completes this to Metcalf. I don't think that guy can hurt that guy. Mariota. Hey, bro. Come on. Come on, Pitts. Oh, Pitts. I've seen you catch that before, bro. I've definitely seen him catch that. Even three at minimum. Puts that pressure on my opponent, and that's that's important to me to to at least put a little bit of pressure on him. to me Cole <laughs> top 10 bad game oh gosh you guys get to see what it like go watch my previous two videos if you guys want to see someone execute at a high level and make good decisions if you want to see very poor decisions and sadness watch this video that's what you, that is what you will see my gosh I have no excuses to lose this game. I have absolutely no excuses to lose this game. This guy's never beaten me, really, other than these two games. He's never won a Super Bowl, and I think he's been around. Like, there's no reason. These are the embarrassing ones, but hey. For all the good wins, you're going to have a few embarrassing losses, and this, to me, is one of them. Dang. I Honestly, though, I feel like that drive where he got that plus 10 lead... Like, was I thought he had some ridiculous fourth down. Like, this right here, the, this throw on fourth, like, almost just made me sick. Like, first off, like, bro, are you, are you blind or, like, what? Like, you have him. But, like, to throw that, if I get that, I'm here and seven on plus four. That to me was the play that really bugged me. This one not as much. This one I was like, I thought I undercut it, but Jameson Williams just absolutely gets a ridiculous animation. Catches at the one. That's tough. Hey, you live and you learn to crash and burn. Uh, I gotta do something so that you guys don't think this video ended early. So I'm going to play 2K just so that the people who watch based on the time don't have any idea. So I'm gonna play some 2K for like. 20 minutes. Okay, so just because I lost, I now get to play 2K, which is kind of fun. I, I do want to make a 2K league, and I get to play a 2K game. This is, like I said, for the people who, um, I just don't want people to know the video ends. So this is, oh, do I play? 
Um, who would be fun right now? I'd like to play with Ant. I want, I want to play with these guys because Shy is Raptors. I I ideally want to use the Raptors. Shy though would be cool because this. I'm gonna play a game with these guys. Shy being Canadian is part of the reason. And John, like I want to do a franchise with these guys, like a ten year franchise. I'm still mad, by the way. I'm still mad. I don't like losing. Losing, losing is annoying. Losing is not fun. Um. But we're gonna try and win a game. You guys can critique my two K. I'm gonna. I gotta win this two K game, or else I'm just a huge loser tonight. I'm just the loser tonight. Come on, Chet. See, this is like the Chet Holmgren and Alexander. Like, ooh. Good start, Brett. Good start. Good morning, Brett. Like, to me, this is like a team that I would love to do a franchise with. Kind of like a full season style, like I do with these. Like, just see how many titles I can win with Chet and Alexander. I feel like that's a super fun duo, and I love their uniforms, too. This guy, this guy's off. This guy, this guy's shot is off. We can win this game. I, I gotta get into rhythm. Uh, that's all right. That's all off too. Oh, 2K. Who's gonna win? Let's let's have an open dialogue. And for the people who are actually still watching, because there might not be many of you, but if you are still watching, comment. Oh, that's 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 green. Comment who you guys think is gonna win the NBA Finals. To me, I I don't know why. I just I think it could definitely be Denver, but I also think it could be the Heat. You gotta be able to make shots like that. Josh Giddy. He's just leaving. I'm just trying to figure this offense out that he's in this defense out that he's in. Oh, go Alexander. Uh, Captain Canada, love it. Have, is he the best Canadian like in a while? At least. Like he was dominant this year. Good stuff. Okay. 3-1. We, we 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 battle. We battle, we battle, we battle. Good, good pass, good pass. Inside. Inside move, got him. Yep. Don't do that. And this is the worst game I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, I'm participating in it. And I'm embarrassed for both of us. I'm actually equally embarrassed that this, that the fact that this game is tied, like we've played how many minutes with three points each? We both should lose our Xbox Game Pass for this. Xbox should not let either either of us online. Like, look, I guarantee this dude, obnoxious, whatever his gamer tag is, I guarantee he misses these. He seems like the type to go old, too, from the line. I think it's going to throw him off. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's old one. I think he's going to be thrown off by the timing. This game is going to end 6-2 final. Yep, what I say? He is so the type to miss both. Okay. Oh, I like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start trying now. You already know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna start. He's got horrible defense. I'm just gonna start driving. Look at this. I love this game. I am 2K. I am 2K. Nine five. Good job, Shy. I already have so many puns if I did a franchise with these guys. I could say like, oh, I, I don't like to talk that much. I'm a little shy. You know what? Rather than this, I'm going to, this is horrible content. This is, I should be arrested for how bad this is. Rather than this, I'm going to play an old Super Bowl to end the video. I'm going to play an old Super Bowl. This game sucks. Me and this guy both should have should uninstall. I'm gonna play an old Super Bowl. Maybe even before this. Oh, okay, let's look at his roster real quick. New additions, obviously Muscle Russell, DK Metcalf. This guy is his new one. Morgan Claiborne, 98 speed rookie that he drafted. Absolutely went stupid this season. Austin, defensive line is crazy. Everyone's crazy. Like I said, he's gonna lose his mind if I don't send the invite right now. So I'm gonna go search. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it's freaking Super Bowl time. You either put up or shut up. I don't care. 
I, I'm here to get a bowl, man. I'm here to get a freaking bowl. I'm gonna be talking through my reads with you guys. Ladies and freaking gentlemen. Oh, this is why we're here, baby. This is why we're here, my friends. Game time, pain time, win or lose. Whatever it is, I, I played through with the toothache. So, no matter what, I, I really am a champion. Either way. His defense is definitely good, but it's like, it's good. It's real good. But I'd say his offense is better. Like, usually when we play, we, we go pretty back and forth with things. But, so on like the first play, as much as I would love to just moss him with Melvin Burris to set the entire tone of the game, I don't think that's necessarily a good idea. I'm just going to run. Be smart, kind of keep things okay. Let's dance, let's dance, let's dance, let's dance. How's everyone doing today, man? Yeah, here, high-low, high-low Melvin Burris. So, I'm looking high-low on that guy over on that right side. Wherever he goes. Melvin Burris, let's go. Nice catch, bro, nice catch. Essentially, he played, he's a cover three base guy. Hez Cannon always will be a cover three base guy. However, I, there's a run that I feel like, if I remember, should give him issues. This trip's tight end. He's going to see this and kind of assume that I'm going to the pass. Oh my gosh, I think I got Burris. Look at his guys. Look at his guys right now. Look at his guys. Oh my goodness. Got him. Poof. Yo, I don't know. His dude still played Burris. That was... That was incredible. I thought I had that, and I normally in a situation, if we were just playing, if we were just playing some good old fashioned freaking football in the park, I'm throwing that ball every time. If we're, if I'm in the park, I'm throwing that ball. But this is the freaking Super Bowl, so. Yeah, go for a run, Najee! Good stuff, Najee Harris. He doesn't like that run. Okay, now he switches to this. I like the halfback power against this look. I usually can get some decent yards, and I do. So that this look is a cover two. Oh, that was cover three. A lot. Most people run cover two out of the three, three, five. Normal. Not. I'm not gonna say everyone, but a lot of people run that out of that. I want to say I probably am at the exact spot where if I can get out of the pocket, I can hit Melvin Burris for a touchdown. But it's hard to say what he's gonna like focus on using because early it's always so difficult to know. Yeah. Take the first down. Najee Harris, good stuff. He's got a no runs coming here. I, I'm going to run it anyways because I want, I want Najee to get his. Uh, oh my gosh! Go for a run, Harris. Go for a run, Harris. Thank you. Okay, that's not it. That's not it. Ooh, okay, ladies and gentlemen. I need three. I need three yards. Good job, Carson! Let's go! Shout out to Ray Gusa. Everyone you play, you better learn someone. You better learn something from. I got that one from Ray Gusa. Against Keyshawn, I wish I could say that's like enough for me to be like, oh, we're in a good spot right now, but it's it's sadly not. I think where it's going to be most, like, it all comes down to can we create two to three stops against him. I just feel like I need to blitz him. And I, I have the defensive line to uh, to stop his run game. I think. My D-line might not be perfect, but I do think you give them a few chances, they're going to be able to stop this run game, in my opinion. Yo, never mind. Okay, move those guys in. Okay, this is Bunch. Watch the deep post down the middle. Deep post down the middle and anything short. He's out. He's way out of bounds. Thank you. Oh, that's all right. Move him back, please. Doesn't really matter. We'll accept it. Okay, so when he flips, he's going to go to that. So let's go 15 and 5. I want him to run the ball here, if I'm being honest. Okay, I need a short zone there. Some backside coverage. Oof. Okay, zone here. Zone there. That guy's cross, man. So Claiborne, don't worry about him coming across the middle. He's not a he's not a problem coming across the middle. Just watch Lockett. Lockett's my main guy. On second down, Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. 
He's got to cover two bombs. He's got to cover two bombs. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did. No, that's a good play. And that, that ruins his momentum. Good play by Lawrence. Shoot. Okay. Quarter blitz. I have a decent idea of the kind of stuff that he wants to do out here. Um, if we do get some one-on-ones, I'm not afraid to, to chuck one up. Because I, I know Melvin Burris, there's like an 80% chance he's going to catch it if it's like a really good one-on-one -on -one situation. This looks like I'm getting screamed at. So let me switch to something to try and mess with him a little bit. Because I do feel like I'm getting screamed at right now. Melvin Burris has got... Like I said, that, that's that got to be six, bro. Go, Melvin! Nice catch, Melvin! He's not adjusting. He's pressing. See if we can get things going with Najee, bro. The Najee train. It's all right. Let's go, Melvin. Get up field. I think he's got it. I'm pretty sure he's got it. He's calling a timeout. He, he wants me to think about this, which I, I respect. And if I get one-on-one -on, -one on Melvin Burris, I take that. Pretty sure he can shoot this. He didn't get it. Oh, my goodness. Nice catch. Pittman! Oh, you got to make quick reads. If you want to make it in Nashville, you got to make some quick reads, man. Oh, if you want to be a country singer. Oh, my gosh. Oh, his user tripped. How do we let that happen with his user tripping? Oh, my goodness. That stuff. See, that that's where it's real weak. That cannot happen when someone's user falls like that. That's got to be 8 yards, 9 yards, 10 yards. That's terrible. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I, I didn't play that well. I didn't play that well. I hesitated. Not much else I can say about that one, fellas. I had a, I thought I had that hot read. I really did. All right, good defense. Play defense. We got to get stops anyways. We're not going to beat him if we don't get any stops anyways. So. Oh, he's killing the clock on us. He's going to, I, I, if I know Keyshawn, he's going to kill the clock here for... Which is smart. Get one back, Brett. Get one back. Get one back. Get one back. Oof. It's a well-thrown ball. Okay, should we should, no matter what, at least have some time before half. That's that's the good thing. We're gonna have some time before half to do something. Come on, Matt. Sanders here is Why is that not? Oh, I'm trying to think here. I feel like if I know him, he's going to try and kill more clock and run. But it's, it's hard to tell at this point. Three, two, one. That's all right. Good tackle. Okay, you get a timeout. You get a timeout there. I know what this is. This is, this is a run. This is a run. Stop it. Someone get there. It's a trap. It's a trap. Okay. Oh, come on, Brett. Come on, Brett. Make him think. Make him think. Make him... Oh. Can't get too much in my head. If I have to take a field goal, I got to take a field goal. I just got... I got to keep this a game. Right now, if I if I don't do anything here, this, this can get out of hand. Because of one interception, one beautiful, beautiful, like not just interception, one beautiful interception by Keyshawn, but we got to make sure we're real smart. He's going to play deep on a lot of our guys. Um, 
I'm guessing he labbed the face catch. So I'm, I'm assuming he has a decent idea how to stop everything. Oh, okay, Brett. Come on, he's not blitzing. Can usually get a pretty good tell from him. I don't think he's blitzing. No, he's not. Up top, baby. Up top. Up top. If I had more than one timeout, I would have just... Oh, gosh. I hate giving him time. That's the thing. I hate giving him time. He's got he's got coverage bombs for everything. He's got literally beaters for everything. A bunch of tight ends between all those formations. There's not a lot that you can do that's going to really mess him up. So giving him 35 seconds is not ideal. But if I stop there, he's going to take his timeouts. And then I could look like an abs absolute freaking idiot if I get nothing. So... What did I say? Dude's got coverage bombs for everything. Everything. He's got coverage bombs. I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh. Okay, make a mistake, bro. Make a mistake. I'm playing kind of double flat right now. He's, he saw his own last time. Let me switch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit him with some man here. I'm going to hit him with a little bit of man. Come on, just guard your, hey, guard your assignment. Guard your assignment. Oh my goodness, oh he missed it, thank you. Metcalf just torched that dude. Holy schmoly, he torched that guy. Someone just get to him, that's all, all I'm asking. Somebody get to this guy. Change the Super Bowl, it changes the Super Bowl. He's really IDing here. He had nothing. He had nothing. Okay. He gets three. Hey, that's fine. I'm I'm completely and totally content. Not necessarily content. I'm not happy about it. Don't get content confused with happy. I'm not happy about it, but could have been a whole lot worse. We can stop him. I know. I got to just find a freaking way to stop him. Okay, he's been doing that thing where he leaves it. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter and just hope that he leaves this because he's been doing that thing where he decides to leave the ball. Oh no, he's not gonna leave it there. Dude, why is the... The blocks on that run, I just, I cannot, I'm like... That run kills stuff. It really does. Yo, oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Maybe... Maybe we just start freaking screaming and not caring. I, I think if I lose blitzing, I lose blitzing. But I think at this point, I can't care anymore. I just... I gotta send pressure at him and just cross my fingers. He's killing clock on us. He's gonna try and end this. Hey, good play. Good play, Fulton. Oh, I had to. He had he had the boot over wide open. He had the boot over wide open. Tick tock. Tick tock. Here it goes. Say goodbye to the freaking clock, guys. Hey. I'm cool with it. Hey, thanks. Okay, we get first and five. I better take freaking advantage. I'm gonna blitz him, pass commit so that boot over doesn't affect it. Shoot, good play. Shoot, 50 freaking adjustments. Like it's, it's bananas. Wilson. 50 adjustments. If you guys, I hope you guys, it's literally, he, he, from formation to formation, it's, it's bananas. I feel like he's going to overcommit. Oh my goodness. You know, Najee was, Najee was out the gym right there. Okay, I'm hoping his, his press is still weird. So that he's pressing Melvin Burris. No, he's, he's fixed it. He's definitely fixed it. Here's second and eight. 
Let's go, Melvin. Go up top, bro. Up top, baby. Up top, baby. Ba bam Okay. Can we get a stop, man? Can we get a stop? You guys are seeing, I'm trying to make some adjustments. I'm throwing different zones out there. I'm trying to blitz them. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's like nothing works. But I ain't quitting. Why is the blocking on that so good? I'm trying, to, I'm trying a bit of a cover two shell here. There goes the clock, fellas. There goes the clock. It's a good thing I scored when I did, because now he's got to put together a full drive. Good job, Fulton. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. Okay, hey. It seemed to work decent against his boot over. Gun bunch. Okay, I'm gonna try something against this. It's been a very hotly contested game to this. I'm just gonna try match. I haven't ran match yet. But I'm gonna man up the tight end. That's gonna be my match adjustment. Man up the tight end. And then, yeah. So hopefully, oh, and then he freaking flips it. Man up that running back. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving. He's probably trying to cover two bomb us. Watch the tight end, watch the tight end. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna move. Again on second and 10, it's Wilson. Bang! Let's go! Good job, defense. Watch, watch the combo. If if you see an O with Metcalf, I gotta follow 16. From the shotgun, Wilson. He doesn't have it. He does not have it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my gut told me to run commit. Trust your gut, guys. Trust your gut. Okay, now he kills clock. Now he kills clock. All the way down. All the way down. If I know key, he's, 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 there's no way he's doing anything. If I do this, he's going to audible to the RPO play that he does. Yep. And he's going to run it to the right. Good play, Gidry. Good play. We got to stand up, fellas. At this point, this is it. We got to stand up, bro. Stand up. I'm doing weird defense right now. Match, but with my two safeties manned up on the two guys. I'm just that way. I can just worry about the receivers. And that vert, that hook curl should play the tight end, depending on what he does. Come here, come here. Go home, Gidry. Go home, Gidry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Good freaking play, man. Good play. Oh. Okay. Three ties it. Seven for the dub. Three ties it. Seven for the W. See if he leaves Melvin Burris. That's that's what I'm wondering. Melvin Burris is activated, so if he leaves him one on one, it's a touchdown. I'm running this. I don't think he's gonna be ready for Najee. Good job, Harris. Okay, I gotta speed up. We gotta speed up, fellas. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. He's back to throw. Flushed out right. Okay. Back to throw. Let's go. Nice catch, Justin. Nice catch, Justin. I'm giving this one to Harris, bro. I don't think he can stop Harris. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Room to run past midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46 yard line. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he 
Hey, time out. Time out. Time out. Got to. I got I got no choice. I got I got to. I gotta go for the dub, bro. I gotta go for the dub. Do I think he'll leave one on one? No. But if he does. Got him. Bam! Melvin Burris! One on one, baby. One on one. What did I say? If I get one on one, I gotta go up top. I gotta go up top. I had to. I had to. I had to. I had to. Counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts. Okay. Like I said, I left him in my mind. I, he's got. He's got some time here. This is a bomb. This is a bomb. This is a bomb play. He's trying to bomb you. Now Wilson. He hits his target rocket. Oh my goodness. Here's Wilson. He's down to Sanders. And inside the 20 before he's put and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Somebody get to him, man. Somebody get to him. Somebody get to him. <sighs> Somebody get to him. Throwing now is Wilson. Being chased out left. And that should be a runoff. That should be a runoff. We do have a penalty. No runoff? However, let's see what that's about. No runoff on that? This is it, man. This is it. Yo, what do you do, man? What do you do? It's a meme at this point. It's literally a meme at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post hockey gameplay. Please go subscribe. The nicest thing you did to me, just go check out that channel. Leave a like. Even if you don't like hockey, give it a chance. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, my Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TDBearYG. I am a part of Top Dog Madden. You can get all the best tips at topdogmadden.com for your ebooks, all those type of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button again. If you haven't killed the like button on this video, do it. And once again, go check out my hockey.